What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hi everybody, it's Sunday and I don't usually do these but I started doing them lately. What's going on guys? Coming back to you guys again with another video. Just over here at the gym making magic and of course, hitting PRs. I decided I want to do a little Snapchat Q&A today, so that's what we're going to do. I used to do Sunday night Q&As a long time ago. I haven't done one of those in quite some time, so I figured it's Sunday, why not do one? Before we do this Q&A though, everybody, I got to do something to make this serious. And we're not going to dig around here, everybody, okay? Pro tip, guys, if you're not wearing your hoodie inside the gym, you're just not in the fitness. Damn it, I left my Beats headphones at home. Gosh. Alrighty, guys, so the first question is going to be coming from LaShior, who says, if YouTube went bankrupt, what would you do for income? Uh, contrary to popular belief, guys, YouTube is not my full-time job. I have a full-time job. Uh, I'm a bike salesman. Uh, that's what I do during the day. Uh, and I love selling bikes, something uh, that's really appealing. That's something I'm passionate about. Uh, I don't know what I would do like if I weren't selling bikes or doing YouTube, though. I don't know if I'd be selling anything else. Uh, selling is awesome, but it takes a lot of um, uh, technique, a lot of skills. You have to know how to work with people. Uh, I probably would be doing something, um, I don't know, social media wise and everything. I did just get promoted, which is really, really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you guys more about that in the future. Next question is coming from Ian who says, Eric, I'm a big fan. Shout out to you, Ian. Love watching your videos because we can relate in many ways. My question is, if you had one wish, what would you wish for? Oh man, sanity. Just kidding. Uh, if I had one wish, I would probably right now wish for a cold brew. I could really use one after today. Next question is going to be coming from Nicole who says, best way to get rid of shin splints? Easy. Ride a bicycle. Next question is going to be coming from Nick who says, is cycling better at burning body fat overall than running or jogging? Great question here. Uh, the best thing to burn body fat is with a blowtorch. Damn, I'm just killing it with the jokes today, guys. Uh, no, everybody, if you want to burn body fat, uh, the best thing you can do is be in a calorie deficit regardless of um, anything else. Here, out there, there's a lot of misinformation on the internet. In terms of exercise selection, cardio selection, do what you prefer. I prefer something that's not gonna impact my joints like running or jogging. Um, so in that case, if you like cycling, go ride a bike. If you like swimming, go swim. If you like to run, go run. Just make sure you have a balance, don't overdo it because that's where a lot of people do get joint pain and just a lot of issues going on when they do overdo running. I was one of them. Next question is gonna be coming from Erica Rose. He says, favorite coffee brand slash roast flavor? Oh, this is just, this is a really hard question to answer. I, I have to just say Folgers is, always has a soft spot in my heart. Um, I do love Starbucks Pie Place uh, roast. They have really, really good stuff as well. Uh, lately I've been doing a lot of Colombian roasts and uh, just anything with a medium roast to it just because it has more caffeine and I do need that extra jump in the mornings. Not gonna lie, this gotta be completely honest. Because honestly, it's like, especially when it comes to coffee, guys. G asks, how are you doing, man? Uh, actually, today I'm doing fairly well. Uh, it's Sunday, everybody. I woke up just feeling extra energetic today. I don't know if it's the time change, the daylight savings here in the US. Um, I don't know what it is. Went for an awesome ride today. Um, woke up and, you know, did my usual, uh, you know, routine and everything, and it's just been going pretty well today. Sold a lot of bikes and uh, have a long week ahead of me in school and everything like that, and then I gotta prep for next week, which is, flying out to New York, which is gonna be something else I'll have to update you guys on in the future, but it's something I have to prepare for, and uh, it's related to competitive eating, so it should be fun. Expect a nice little vlog. Next question, I do not have your username, but she says, Eric, I miss the happy you. I love all your YouTube videos and watch every video on YouTube, but why are you so unhappy lately? Uh, guys, clear answer to this one is we all have days where we're not happy. Uh, sorry if I portray that, but as I said in my last video, I'm not going to be fake. I'm not going to hide who I am or how I'm feeling. Uh, I'm going to embrace 
myself every day, embrace my emotions, my thoughts, my feelings, and uh, you know, it's a lot of YouTubers, and I said this in my last video, will just put on a fake face and be fake in front of the camera, and I have days where I'm not happy and I choose to break out the camera. They, that, may, ah, that may not be the right decision sometimes, but it's what I do, and it's what I'm gonna do. Next question, and I do not know your name either, uh, says, Eric, are you going to start a powerlifting series? Now, technically what I do, you can consider it powerlifting. Um, I mean, it, I get a lot of feedback from people that tell me, oh, you're not a powerlifter. Uh, you have to do this and this and this to be a powerlifter. Well, a lot of people like to say you have to be uh, over uh, 200 pounds and bench three plates before you're able to wear an insert belt and stuff like that. But there's all this stupid shit that goes on in uh, YouTube and YouTube fitness world. So I don't know what's the trend lately. But uh, anyways, guys, without the long rant, uh, I do plan on actually doing a powerlifting meet if there are any in San Diego. And that will hopefully be coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. But just consider this, I guess, a powerlifting series. Favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor? Pistachio. Do you use a foam roller? I haven't been consistent with my foam rolling lately, but I need to start again. That's something I recommend to everybody. And don't forget to stretch as well. Craziest gym story. You're not gonna believe this, guys. This one time, I saw this guy, he was running around the gym with an easy bar, using it as a bow. I thought that motherfucker was Legolas from Lord of the Rings. Seriously. Will you ever come to the UK, and what do you study, Eric? I'm a communications major. I'd love to come to the UK. Of course, you just gotta find me out there. When did you start playing the guitar? I started playing the guitar around, I believe I was 12 or 13. I played it religiously for like six to seven years, and uh, up until lately I put it down, but I did just get a new guitar, which I'll be featuring in my next video, so you guys should stay tuned for that one. So after months of debating, I went out and got my new Schecter. I just, I've fallen in love with it lately. I'm gonna be starting to record a lot more um, backing tracks to a lot of my videos and just doing more with music. And yeah, I'm just really excited for the future with it. So just a passion of mine and I'm glad I picked it up again. Has your energy gotten any better? It certainly has, sir. It certainly has. Alrighty, everybody. So I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to watch the video and hopefully give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. It seriously means a lot to me, guys. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh